Hey y'all, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can go from this to this within five minutes. So you'll need dry shampoo, a round brush, a wet brush, and a blow dryer. So start off with the blow dryer in your hair. You wanna put it on the cool setting on the highest setting. Coolest setting, highest setting. If you put heat on your hair after you've been sweating, obviously you're gonna get more hot and you're gonna sweat more. So here I'm just rough drying my hair and trying to get it all dry. Next, I'm gonna just brush out all those tangles with my favorite wet brush. This is a hurt-free wet um, hair brush, I guess you could say. It's awesome if you have never used it, you need to use it. So next here, I am just getting my front section, like my bang area, and I'm gonna grab my round brush and I'm gonna over direct it down and blow dry the nozzle down with it at the same time. This is gonna give me some extra volume in the front and my bang area, and it's gonna smooth it out. Then I'm doing the same thing, but in the opposite direction, over directing the opposite way. Next, I'm just fluffing out my hair and I'm going to take the back section in my crown area and I want to create some volume there and some fullness there. So I'm grabbing my round brush again, placing it underneath my hair and blow drying in an upward motion. Next, I am grabbing my dry shampoo. This is one of my faves lately, and I'm just spritzing that crown area and the where my parting is just to soak up any of that oil and to add some volume. So I just want a little bit more of oomph, so I'm grabbing my flat iron and putting it on the medium heat setting, and I'm just gonna create some flat iron curls, um, curling my bangs away from my face and just some front frame pieces. Not the whole head, just the front frame pieces. And that is it for the quick and easy hair after the gym. Now we're just gonna go into makeup after the gym. So for makeup, I just do a couple of items. I don't do a full face, especially after I've been sweating. So first off, I'm going into brows, just gonna fill in those sparse areas and clean them up a little bit. Next up, just brightening up underneath the eyes a little bit with some concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and covering up red areas or any little zits I may have. And of course, blending out with a damp beauty blender.
And of course, setting all of those areas that I just highlighted with some translucent powder just to avoid any creasing. And adding some glow by bronzing up the skin with my favorite physician's formula bronzer and a big fan brush. Just in a C formation on the face, those areas where the sun would naturally hit the face. Gotta tame them brows, girl. So I'm using a clear mascara as my brow gel. I have to always set my brows after I fill them in. If not, then they're crazy and they go all over the place. Um, and then next, last but not least, I am applying some lip gloss. It's pretty much the same color as my lips, just to add a little bit more color. And this is the final completed look. Quick and easy hair and makeup after the gym. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And please don't forget to subscribe. Bye.